Yeah. I mean, it's pretty, pretty immediate. It's so, it just feels like both of these days that Monday, Tuesday are going to be, um, similar themed. Do you have any more at, to add about the opposition to Pluto? Yeah. Well, you see the sun going into Leo where he embodies that kingship element because that's the sun's domicile and the sun then gets seen as the center as the king and Pluto is representing the riches and the empowerment. So it has that ability. So it's, it's like that struggle when you see the sun and Pluto, like the, what have I got the the intense enthusiasm and drive connection with primal natural energies, um, the interplay of identity and shadow. I always think of Pluto as you picked up a rock and there's like the crabs or the insects that live underneath and are they going to scuttle away or are they going to like move into the light? You know, what are they going to do? And it's the same when, that light is shone on our shadow. So that's kind of how we experience it when the sun and Pluto come together, that there is some light being shone on some shadow element of ourself or on people around us or some understanding of a situation. And we're being asked to face it and integrate it. We're being asked not to look away. Um, yeah. And if we look away, chances are it will keep escalating because if it's being shown to us it's because it's time it's time for us now to to bring it into our awareness you know to not leave it in that subconscious place of being under the rock and us being unaware um so if it's time then it's time to do the work to to face that element and to integrate it and we can do that with dreams and meditation or journaling you know there's, there's various methods people can do whatever they want just go for walks or talk it through with a friend you know coffee and cake <laughs> there's plenty of nice ways to do this but um i like the idea this. of this the sun being there also to include in those activities like seeking guidance of an elder that's kind of what this transit brings up of like who do you look up to um even if you don't have a specific mentor i think seeking guidance from somebody that you would like them to be your mentor, whether they are or not. I think just that in itself, finding counsel and, and, and someone you respect might be a way to kind of navigate this day. Yeah, that's a great idea. 